Hi friends, uh, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to see how to use Google Scholar effectively for the research articles and for your research. So first thing, I have opened the browser and typed scholar.google.com. So you can visit this website. So let's see how to uh, use this uh, website very effectively for the research work. Let's say I want to uh, search for um, a, a protein expression uh, in E. coli. Uh, let's say tag polymerase expression in E. coli. So I'll just uh, type tag polymerase in E. coli. Let's let's see what it turns out. Okay, you have got uh, you have got one lakh seventy four thousand search results and. Uh, uh, many articles related to that. Let's say if you want to narrow it down, a simple trick is to use quotes in the uh, in the keywords and just use quotes on this and let's try this uh, search. And this is narrowed down to 64,000. So you can uh, play with these uh, different keywords to bring down the number and uh, narrow down your uh, search. So the advantage of uh, this is that if you put the keywords in quotes, it will be highlighted. Only those papers will be highlighted in the search results. And now you can see uh, there are a lot of papers related to uh, tag polymerase uh, uh, expression and purification. Uh, you can see here the first part article uh, referring to the rapid purification of high activity tag DNA polymerase. Um, and so on and so forth. So you can uh, filter out using the keywords and uh, one such useful information is that usage of quotation. So if you use the quotes, you can narrow down your uh, search results. So once you have this, if you can see on the on the, on the right, some of these uh, links are uh, with PDF uh, mentioned on that as the file, uh, file type. So these uh, indicate that these are readily available as PDF for download. So if you click on uh, right click on this, uh, so you can uh, see that the PDF file opens automatically and you can save this. Okay, so you will get and uh, you can also see there are uh, so coming down uh, if you select one of these paper, uh, there are uh, 11 uh, 12 versions of uh, this if some of these uh, uh, PDF files are not available. You can even check in the all versions. So you can you may be able to get uh, this PDF from other sources as well. Okay, the, so that is about the um, all uh, versions. You can get ev even if it is not present in the initial uh, search result, you can go to uh, the all version. So this will populate uh, the papers from different uh, journals or wherever it has posted. So we can get uh, details from there and if you want so you, if you see the search results some of these are from uh, 1993 some of these are 1990 and if you want uh, the uh, recent uh, files you can just go to custom range yeah, in the in the left hand pane and enter the uh, range or the years in between you want to see the result let's say we will would like to see from 2015 to 2022 and search. So this will be updated to give the results a recent results. So here you can see optimizing the production of tag polymerase from E. coli and it is 2022. Here also instant uh, tag rapid auto inducible expression chromatography purification of tag polymerase. So uh, you can get all this information and a screen or sort this based on the custom range. Now the uh, results is only uh, 15,000 you can see. Uh, the other option is uh, you can sort this by uh, relevance or you can sort this by date. If you sort this by date, you can see the abstracts and everything. If you uh, select everything, so this is based on the recent date. So you can see this is published three days ago. This is published three days ago, four days ago. Uh, mostly uh, we go with the uh, relevance so that um, you get the most relevant articles on the uh, first. So we have seen uh, we can uh, sort this uh, based on the year as well as on the date. The other option is uh, the citation. So if you want to cite an article, you can just uh, click on the site. You will get the information here. And you can just cross check with the paper. Sometimes uh, uh, this information, uh, it is auto populated. So you can just uh, copy and cross verify with the, uh, with the uh, source paper. 
okay so you can use this function and the other option is uh, save function uh, if you want to read this paper later uh, you can press the save button so it will add uh, the the paper to your uh, reading list so this requires a login to your account and if you see my library you can see some of this paper uh, saved for uh, later later view okay uh, so that is about the or uh, the uh, citation and the save function and suppose if you search uh, the results and uh, most of the results are not relevant and you would like to read more on this and then you can go to related articles to get more information on the same level of topic same uh, interested topic so you can go to related articles get and get more information from here the other option i would like to uh, mention is the uh, so suppose if you want to uh, know about an author so suppose uh, vm bonds uh, so you just click on that and you will get all the research paper from this professor in the list from here also you can search get all his papers specifically on the uh, author okay so uh, coming back you can also enable this feature from advanced search here you can type the author name and use so here you have the direct link to the direct link to the author's uh, page and from there you can get the all the information see the other option is suppose if you want to limit to certain uh, location you can just type in quotes uh, uh, united kingdom or us or whichever place you would like to limit the search to so the information uh, will be from those locations only so hope you are clear with this topic and uh, i wish you have a great uh, research and ease of use of the google scholar using these features happy learning thank you if you like the video please press the like button and share it with your friends